Hello friends, Ashton here. So today I'm bringing an update to my personal add-on here called Chalkline. And uh, this is a quick update for uh, the Google Documents. Okay, so let me show you what I did. Uh, so right now I think it's in version 19 for this add-on. And uh, in the latest update, I bring a new function here in Google Documents. Uh, called custom page size. So I recently realized if I want to do a custom page size in Google Documents, so it seems like Google only you know gave this uh, gave this custom settings here, but we cannot set up a real custom page size. So if I want to have a page size three by four inches like that so I cannot do it here because it's not in this list uh, so this is the basically the main purpose of this function here so by using this add-on and uh, with this new function if you click on this function then you can enter uh, three parameters here so the first one is going to be the width and uh, the height and uh, the margin so the margin for all of them, so okay, a margin top, right, bottom, left, so for all of them. Uh, and uh, for example, if I'm trying to do a page size, maybe five by five, so 0.5 or something like that. So I have a width of five and give it a margin 0.3, something like that. And then it's going to resize it. Uh, for the page size, so you will see the margin here. So the width, I think, is in with the margin is also calculated by is included in the whole width. Also for the height, so you will see here. So this is uh, I think it's one two four. Uh, so basically something like that. Okay. So this is going to do the thing for you. I'm not sure if this is going to help you, but at least this is right now. I'm not sure if there are any other solutions to custom page size for Google Documents, but at least uh, this function here can do the job for you. Okay, so this is the main update uh, in the add-on, and uh, I think I did another update to this add-on before this version, but uh, I didn't do any video because it's just a simple update. And let me show you, by the way. So that update is more for uh, a custom request, a request from uh, from the channel. Okay, so so basically it, it's a it's in the Google Sheets and it's about a form submission trigger here, and uh, in the original design, so the email to be sent is basically to the respondent. So basically, if you are using, if you submit the form, the email is sent to the respondent, right? And uh, the update is more for that purpose. So if you only want to send the email to yourself, so like if I am the owner of the of this form, right? I just want to notify myself instead of the send a notification to the respondent. So here, what you can do here right now, you can add your own email addresses, or you can put uh, your email address here. And if you want to have input, uh, notify multiple people, you can add multiple address here. And in this way, all the respondent email will be sent to this group of, of people, okay? You're not sending the email to the respondent. And the original design is basically a column or a, a field in the form, so like if you have a field called email address in the in the form, so you can enter this field name here, so the script knows where to find the email address and send the email to, right? So that's another update, uh, that update in version 1.18. So right now this is uh, a version 1.19, so with this custom page size function added to Google Documents, Okay, so I think that's all about this video. So it's, it's main update for the Google Documents custom page size. 
And uh, by the way, if you, you know, basically small tools or utility applic applications like this, so if you have some kind of um, issues cannot be, so right now it's basically some features which is not included in the, in the application, maybe we can add them as a utilities like this and uh, basically keep adding more feature, features into this, this add-on. Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.